No, no, no. Once again, before we even started, Bobby Flacco already trying to mooch. Had to drive him here. Had to pay for his fucking beer. Had to get him his goddamn STD fucking test. That's a lie, up. lie, Whoa. lie, lie. Turns out he was negative. He still owes me $75 for the test. But hey, welcome back to another episode of uh, My Drunk Uncle's Podcast. My uh, stellar looking uh, co-host, Mr. Bobby Flacco. Hey. And I'm Uncle Laser. Hey, we got a special, we got a special treat in store for y'all. We got... We got some uh, some things on the docket. We'll actually have uh, Larry Faust coming here with his uh, street journalism <laughs> shit coming up. That'll be a fucking tree. There was an active shooter running around. He went to the Ted Nugent rally. A bunch of cool shit coming live. But let's get to it, Bobby. How the fuck have you been? I know you've been secluded off, recluse off in the studio. You're going to cut another mid-album. I mean, what's going on with that? How you been? Uh, and, and I, uh, I, I you know, pers- everything was cool until you fucking threw one word in there and you know what that word is? Mid, dude. Mid? Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing... Beyond mid, bro. I'm doing fan fucking tests. Fan fucking tests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm Why'd excited. you iron your shirt for today's episode? Whose funeral did you just get back from? Uh, I just threw my shirt in the dryer before I. Uh, it was really wrinkled. Like, it was bad, like wrinkled. So I had to put it in the dryer. And uh, yeah, here we are. I like how you got the. Show the people, turn your head where you got the fucking. You got the, the bun behind the fucking. The ball cap, yeah. Do you look like a lesbian softball player? I'm fucking loving it right now. I'm <laughs> hey, yeah, Wayne, it. I'm representing the fucking country worms, baby. You know oh yeah, I mean? hey, shout out to Connor Stevens and the country worms, good yeah. friends of ours. Uh, so new, you already back in the studio doing some new shit for a new album. I have the new album just released, but now you're doing a newer album. Am yeah, I right? you just don't stop, dude. We're like rappers back in the fucking '90s spring break days. The, you know, they used to sell like CDs out the back of their trunk, the burnt ones. Yeah, well, we're just gonna go push content, bro. That's all it is. Dude. That's all it is. It's all just music. Trying to get discovered. What oh, else yeah. is going on? Have you been good? I mean, I know your car got stolen, Cadillac converter. That's been gone, but I mean, it's a long time ago, bro. This is like, but I mean, two I, I, studios ago. Is there is there any? <laughs> is there <laughs> what any? The fuck are you is there any chance? <laughs> is there any chance in the future you are getting a car? Yes, you're wearing me the fuck out. You're lying, bro. Like that, I love the narrative that you push to the people that are watching, the viewers, if you will, which we love you all. Click like, subscribe, Boom. all that stuff. Thank you so much. But that's a fucking lie, dude. What do you mean? I like picking you up places? No, dude. I fucking Uber and Lyft, too, dog. It's convenient. You know what I mean? Because I like to drink. I shouldn't be drinking and driving anyways. I drink almost every day, dude. So what, dude? <laughs> so what? No, no, I'm just justifying the fact that I don't have a car, but I will have one soon. Yeah. Well, I know We're you good. drink. I know you drink every fucking day, but when's the last time you smoked some of this great goddamn strong? I don't know. It's been too goddamn long. It's Let me been, see that it's right been now. A while. Like, so Let me look, tell you what I'm gonna do. We've had this sponsor going on for two episodes now, and uh, we've been smoking a little bit of this. Uh, it's called THCP, right, Georgia? That's what it is. I guess these boys found a different cannabinoid than just regular. T- it's the strongest shit I've ever smoked in yeah. my motherfucking life. This we cannabinoid is fucking. This can- cannabis cannabinoids, it will fuck your world up. Yo, dude. it's all from, legal. Yeah, all legal. Go get that from fucking elixir. LA Middle elixir. Earth cannabinoids. Cannabinoids, but uh, but they gave me some talking points because I don't know shit about fuck. I just know it fucks me up. But uh, this uh, half gram that Bobby's got in his hand right now is ninety percent. THCP disposable. It's pure THCP, not cut with any other cannabinoids. It's the most potent of the potent. It's the most potent vape in the legal market. You can order it online or get in stores in Texas. Uh, there are smoke shops in Texas that got it. It's Elixir LA, just Elixir for short.com. If you don't already have it, it's available in a gram or ha- only a half gram because one, it's expensive, and two, if they put it in a gram, it might fucking kill you. It's that strong. Oh my it's God. that. I mean, I, I know you big weed spot. Well, take a hit then, pussy. All right. Take I'll a do fucking it. hit. Now I have to drive him home for sure. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was, was going to drive him because he doesn't have a car. But now I'm going to drive him home. For, oh, you're still hit. Dude, be careful. That's going to knock your fucking socks off, dude. It's going to make your mustache grow in correctly. You know what I'm saying? Son of a bitch. It's like Mother Earth. But also, too, with uh, Elixir, they've been partnering up with us. If you use uh, the fucking like name man. code LASER on your first oh, order, you will get fucking 50% off and a free limited edition lighter right here. The old laser lighter. Y'all take one home when y'all go, dude. Pass them out to your mom. Put it in her stocking for Christmas. Who gives a hey, shit? Hey, I sent one of those to my fucking niece and nephew, and it actually blew up in their mailbox, so uh, they're defective. Just kidding. No, they're, they're See good. This? I can't have anything fucking nice. We can't even. This is what happens when you don't have a car and you grow up a fucking hoolum. He ironed his shirt for the first time in his fucking life and he called me and asked me how to fucking do it. 
<laughs> you're wearing all one color. Including. Yeah, no, I just got done golfing, dude. I'm, I'm fucking. Uh, it's literally, the, it's like you, like you're wearing you. I look like I'm in a nude suit right yeah. now, dude. I'm just a pink it's pastry great. piglet right now. It's you know fucking man? great. I love it's it. It's incredible, ain't it's it? It's incredible. Just lost thousand dollars on the golf course because I'm a piece of shit, but that's not on y'all. But anyways, go check out fucking uh, Elixir LA. It's Elixir LA uh, or Elixir for short, whatever which way. There are sponsors right here. It's the most potent THC P. Legal fucking weed on the market. They got flour. They got gummies. They got stickers. I mean, hell, they got fucking everything you could ever need. Uh, we'll spark one. You guys don't smoke. Oh, let me get to the guests here. Why am I being a piece of shit here? You want to introduce them? You don't ever introduce the guests. You don't even remember their names because you're a piece of shit. But I do, guys, and it's a fucking pleasure having y'all. You're a mess. I'm a mess. Yeah, yeah, introduce the guests now. No, for real, you are a mess because you literally, like, are everywhere right now, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> Let's talk about it, dude. I'm on no. time, I'm on time. All right. Well, you had to poop. Anyways, cheers to Bobby. Here's your goddamn the twisted tease. It's cheers, time to bro. get twisted. On hey, the cheers, guys. On a Wednesday. Cheers. Honestly, it's all. Let me let right me here. let me bring in my guests. These uh these next two guys are, they're interviewing as a fucking team. They were actually wearing uh, tuxedos, and uh you know uh these guys uh one of these guys reached out to me a while back. I was still working the old field. He said, "Man, we love your content. Why don't you come do a fucking weightlifting podcast?" Wait, look, I lift weights. I don't lift the heaviest weights, but I lift more weights than Bobby because. We did boxing the other day, and he threw up everywhere after we got done boxing because he's a pussy, and he only does yoga, and he's got a bird chest. But see, we, we lifted some real weights. We had a grand old time. <laughs> These guys are both fucking Olympic weightlifters, killing it in the fucking scene. I mean, look, without any further ado, here's Zach Tellender, Highlander, we'll call him, and Dylan fucking Copper or Cooper. How are we going to do it? These boys are the strongest men in the room, no doubt about it. Fellas, how are we fucking doing this evening? We're doing good, man. Yeah? Yeah, quite the intro. That was awesome. Well, that you know, cool. I try to build it up. <clears throat> Don't shake your fucking head at me, dude. I'm glad you are here, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm 100%. Just, yeah. Dude, uh, so, yeah, like, um, Dylan and I started this show called Lift Companion. We got the shirts on right here. Yeah. The tuxedos in question. And he is was. Is that a Chinese man with a with a it's with a, a gas man? Uh, is that yeah, from yeah. Hiroshima? Where'd y'all get Japanese. those at? Japanese. Ja- yeah. yeah, Japanese. Japanese, Bobby. You know, it's Japanese. I go with like the Japanese like <laughs> tech kind of looking thing, and the designers came up with mm. it. What does this say right here? I think it says Telender. Oh. In think, ja- in Japan. I think. Where's my last name? In Japanese. It says Tele Cooper. Tele Cooper. Oh. I'm yeah, okay. yeah, but big heavy lifters. I mean, how long? I mean, you got a podcast, and do you have a podcast? Well, I think I tried no. to search the other day, and you didn't have no shit. And I so only, only Instagram. So okay. yeah, so we. I've had YouTube for forever. I've been doing YouTube for like seven years. Yeah, you got like a hundred thousand. You got over a hundred thousand. You got a big two hundred now. Over two hundred. Yeah. Shit, excuse me. Dude. What was your first video you put on YouTube? It was so the sport of Olympic weightlifting is two movements: the snatch and the clean and jerk. What is and a snatch? Snatch is uh, the one good kind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me explain to you what a snatch hey, is. Tell me, yeah. Tell me what it smells like. Yeah, it smells pretty, pretty good sometimes. Sometimes when yeah, the pH is balanced. Yeah, right. Uh, but the snatch is one movement with the barbell from the ground to overhead. You're not allowed to stop. Can we show a video, Georgia, of them from their podcast, or we'll, we'll edit it? Yeah, in? yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, so but I've been doing YouTube for forever. I've known this guy for forever. He moved to, down to Austin, and of course we're going to do we're going to do uh, content uh, together. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do content together, and so oh, we F. started to do this like variety. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only fans. <laughs> we started to do this variety show type of deal where we would have we'd be mic'd up while we're lifting. So it's essentially the structure is like a podcast, and when it gets too boring, the podcast you know if let's we, put some weight co- on the bar. We lift, yeah, and then if the lifting gets too boring, we talk, and people ended up really liking it, and we're like, okay, let's bring some guests on. And he's like, you know, I've been watching this dude, Uncle Laser. Oh, so you found me. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't even him. No. Yeah. And then Fuck I was like, and then I, and then yeah. I, <laughs> so then I slid into your DMs and you're like, Fuck yeah, let's do it. And then, you know, the rest That's is history. history. And, and well, we made those reels together. Yeah. Those dude. reels got like over 10 million views. Yeah. They popped off on your Instagram. It popped off, dude. Yeah. yeah it was it was. A good Holy time. Shit. That was a fun. I want y'all to know, definitely hung over that, that day we uh, did that shit. Oh, you were looking rough. Oh, no. I felt it. I felt it. I think I got buried by 205 on the 225. You almost got 225. I almost got 225. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a girl that follows me, a powerlifting girl. I forget her fucking name. But uh, shout out to her. That doesn't exist. Uh, and uh, she's like, I bet you, I bet I can do more than you. She was doing like 235. I was like, fuck you, dude. I'm a grown ass man. Buried me. <laughs> Buried me. And y'all just sat there and kept cheering me on. I go, boys, mm-hmm. I'm just not going to get it. But then I put y'all through a vigorous yeah. shoulder workout. There's no snatch or fucking cleaning nah. that, dude. That's just press that shit. Lift yeah, it above your head, set it down, pick it back up again. That was a prison workout. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm told, if you can tell by the camera shot here, 
I'm all upper <laughs> body. I'm top heavy. When I get out of bed, I fall over. Yeah. God, I fucking hate you. No, I mean, I'm just, I'm looking at it. Like, I, you're yeah. saying it. I'm similar, though. Like, my legs are kind of like old, too. We got old guy legs. Yeah, I feel like if they ever do another Scooby-Doo movie, you should be cast in it, dude. As Shaggy? As the villain. Okay. That wears a mask because you're fucking ugly. Anyways, boys. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's get back to it. Yeah. Uh, so, where did you, y'all both from Ohio, or he's from Ohio, right? Where are you from? Well, she's not even close, dude. <laughs> Either of us from Ohio. <laughs> okay, way off. Okay, way the fuck. I, I didn't do my research. Excuse me for fucking partying before this. I'm uh, from Chicago originally. Chicago? I'm from North Carolina. Okay. Yeah. A couple of Midwestern... Yeah. You know, Southern. thirteen colonies. Yeah. yeah, thirteen. That's yeah, thirteen colonies. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's the uh, Mayflower Compact. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah James Taylor Bible. Go. Boom. Yeah. Uh, how do y'all? What get? What? What? How do you get into the goddamn Olympic thing? What steered you that way? Because obviously you're athletic and shit. You must have played fucking ball and shit in high school, huh? Or were you always into lifting? You and so Dylan both. My story is different than Dylan's. I'll tell mine first, and then Dylan's is actually pretty cool. So I, I was. Every sport, but like the weight room, mm-hmm. you know, I was doing uh, football, basketball, baseball, and then I switched up to lacrosse, and then I ended up playing lacrosse. Super white sport. Yeah, so white, white just sport. unbelievably white sport. Um, yeah. And uh, I started doing lacrosse, and then I graduated college. I played Division One lacrosse, and I felt like I had more to give, so I started doing fucking CrossFit. Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, that turned into coaching, and then... CrossFit's interesting because it just narrows people towards cooler sports like powerlifting, strongman. Yeah, so, man, so what and, is and the difference between cross, CrossFit and actual Olympic weightlifting? Like, what is the de- – like, y'all are just basically trying to put as much weight as a fucking bar as you can in, in Olympic weightlifting, right? Yeah. Where CrossFit's more hit or endurance type shit, or am I wrong there? Or? Yeah, yeah. CrossFit's going to mix everything together, so you're not going to get that great at one particular thing. What's cool, though, is, like, you can get in good shape, and you can get generally stronger than a lot of the public. But, like – the, the numbers that Dylan's lifting, the numbers that I'm lifting, like no CrossFitter's going to be able to hit, like no average CrossFitter is going to be able to hit in, in those particular things. So then it ended up narrowing me down towards weightlifting and coaching weightlifting and, and so on. But Dylan's path, like he's been doing this since he was a kid. Oh, so you've been in it since? Yeah, I started when I was 14, but like I played pretty much every sport there was, like soccer, baseball, basketball, rock nice. climbing, skateboarding, like literally everything. Then there was like a two year span where I literally all I did I was solving fucking Rubik's cubes in my room. <laughs> that was fucking it. Dude. Holy shit! And I was good, I was good, dude. Raggy? Yeah. There you that's go. crazy. That, that's yeah. per, that's like patience. I feel like I didn't have yeah. that. As it good. was just straight autism, honestly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Right. <laughs> that's why yeah. I laughed. Yeah. I didn't want to be a yeah. dick, but I was like, just Rubik's cubes, dude. Yeah. He's got to lift. You got to put this over this. Yeah. You have to. He's got to yeah. lift where he cleans three hundred pounds, stands up. Dude hands him a Rubik's Cube. He solves the Rubik's Cube, drops the Rubik's Cube, and then jerks it. So the weight's sitting on him the whole time. It's Shut insane. the fuck yeah. up, dude. It's like I'm getting choked out by 300 pounds while I'm doing that. Yeah. But, yeah, I needed to do something other than that, solve Rubik's Cubes. So my brother dragged me into a uh, CrossFit gym, did one workout, fucking hated it. And then he brought me in again a week later. Then I just started doing it. Then we did the snatch one day. I liked it, so I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and then just got just it. Just how to perfect it. Yeah. yeah, I was weak as shit when I started doing Now, it. does power clean and snatch translate into like picking someone up and throwing them through the fucking drywall? For sure. You want to try my... God damn. I can Bobby, let's go. Yeah. The thrust power. I mean, must y'all be y'all fucking really toss me around, dog. I'm like a sheet in the wind. I'm like fucking... <laughs> Dude, yeah. when, you, when you threw up at boxing the other day, I was so embarrassed. What are you talking about? Bro, it was like the last three minutes. I just didn't take the picture. I did training better than you. I moved No, we were supposed you. to spar. And you, no, I moved better than you. You you don't. Dude. Oh, yeah, I do. No. I definitely move better than you. Like, you, like I, I wish we could do it for people. Dude, I've been hit by Jessica harder than you hit me, dude. I, I mean, I would never hit you, bro. All right, dude. You're my friend. All right, dude. You're with <laughs> <I ain't never laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah. Piece of fucking shit. So where do y'all meet? How do y'all meet? What y'all say? And now y'all are both good. Because you're a world record holder, aren't you? Or, or you're? No, I've been on like a few. I've traveled the world doing it. Like, yeah. Been on five international Is there big teams. money in the, the scene of power? Or how does Not it work? at all, dude. It's no. actually notorious for there being like no money at all in it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think. So it's when like it, women's basketball. Worse. Even yeah. worse. Oh, way yeah. worse. Way worse. Way worse. Way worse. Dude, yeah. if we had women's basketball money, that'd be awesome. Okay. I, I think, like, pro women's basketball players, they go overseas to make more money. That's actually why Brittany Griner was over there. Yeah. And then she got arrested for with, having... With a cannabinoid. Or real weed. Yeah. She, real weed, yeah. That's you can't just bring that shit into Russia. They, they, they fucked her up. Uh, but, no, no, no. Me, 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 dude. What the fuck? Out, dude. That one's out. 
the thing okay the thing with like any of these types of like (laughs) (laughs) the thing with any of these types of like uh you know aspects of lifting or whatever it may be you have to you have to have some level of charisma and then you have to be able to sell and and make a living off of it and i think everyone in whatever it may be like the known thing is like you're not going to make a living you're not gonna make a good living and like him and I are, are, are proof that that's not true. I mean, especially him right now, like his business has exploded. Yeah. And yeah. I know he's making more money than any weightlifting coach out there. Yeah. Uh, and it's just, it's fun to like reinvent this shit. Like we, you know, the whole fitness influencer thing, like it's, it's fucking whack. Like I'm sure your listeners are going to be like, yeah, fitness influencers fucking suck. Well, it's like, what, what could we do to make what it? Makes so you like, I'm learning. Yeah. I'm literally sitting in here learning from you. All. But, it, but so that's why we're like, let's bring a fucking comedian on and yeah. let's teach him how to lift. And it ended up being content gold, gold. you know? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. just trying to be creative and have fun with the shit. Thinking outside you know? the box, but yep. still passionate about. The yeah. And we're, we're really? like unbelievably thankful that you came through, dude. Seriously. Yeah, no, it was like, it. It, it, it. it was yeah. so cool to just be like, let's do this shit. And then you're, you're definitely a doer, you know, which, is something that like there are a lot of people who are super talented super creative and and capable and then when it comes down to being like okay let's do something about it they don't fucking do shit they're man. nerds theater nerds i used to push, some, it, kid, I used to push some kids in lockers yeah. <laughs> fuck them okay. yeah fuck. i used to that's beat the me. shit that's I what i mean that's why you asked me here yeah, that's I used, yeah, that's I, kid. i'm the kid in the locker no right? but bob you're a fucking doer we were just talking about your new you just finished an album you're back in the studio making another album and you guys you guys are have two residencies now is crazy. Yeah, it's fucking amazing, I dude. I love your that. shit, man. No, I just I'm think it's like you. awfully considerate of y'all, dude, like to come in here and like literally like help this guy get his health back on track. You know what I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I that, appreciate wow. it. This is my friend. This is my real good friend right here. And I don't hey, hold on real quick. Everybody <laughs> listening home and watching. <laughs> Bobby's done yoga with me about <laughs> six times, and he's a what? he's a you know like with me and you, I've been to yoga with you about six or seven. It's times. It's amazing. It's a great time, and Bobby's good at the yoga. Does the fucking poses, wears wearing the sweatpants, that big old wieners hanging out here, wearing making everybody feel uncomfortable, dude. But then I watch him box. <laughs> I watch him box, dude, and I swear to God, he had to be good at music because he would have got beat the fuck up throughout high school, dude. I, <laughs> dude, I beat my little my little brother will throw a better fight, dude. You. That's then you fine, threw hey, up dude. everywhere, you know dude. Like, hey, dude. I'm glad you can stretch real good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck you, dude. All right, that's fine. I'm, I'm, me too. I'd rather be more mobile and shit than go fight everybody at the bar just because they looked at me funny. Like you, dude. You're always getting you mad. Literally you almost, always try to fight me every you time almost we go out. To... You're like, hey, dude, that girl's with me, dude. Like, I'm your friend, bro. I know she's oh with you, bro. God. You always, always God. fucking trying to fight. Are we doing this right now, dude? <laughs> that homeless man with that free rice almost beat you up over that phone plug the other day at that goddamn, that goddamn taqueria, dude. You're going to do that right now? I had to protect you, dude. I mean, my God, dude. Look like Get out of here, dude. Fucking Mitch Frizzle Taquerias. from fucking Magic School Bus. Don't Fuck you, say dude. that. Anyways, um... But the one thing I wanted to talk about, <laughs> though, I know when we were sitting down the other day at the bar, it's, you know, the fitness world, it's all based off of, like, you know, personal records and, the you know, your content and shit like that. But there was a guy the other day that you were telling me about that was saying he could lift all this fucking weight or something. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? There was a guy that said oh, he oh, was fake trolling weights. y'all. Fake weights. Fake weights. Wait, how does that? Because, I mean, I feel like in the influencer scene of the weight this thing. This is a fucking yeah, dude. Like, like, you know, you can, right. you can fake being beautiful and, and whatever with, you know, like, you know, filters and shit, but you're throwing up some weight and that's, that's your whole premise of content, but you're throwing up fake weights. Y'all yeah. called his ass out. Tell the, me, elaborate a little bit the, on that. The word you're looking for is objective. I mean, if all we care about is the number. Mm-hmm. So that's it. It's the, the ob- object is right there. Whoever lifts more weight is better. So this kid randomly lifts, and I'll say a number, 170 kilos in the snatch, which is like 375, right? Yeah, that's Three, a monster. It's insane. It's insane, okay? World caliber, if he actually Yeah, did. and we did, we figured this out. Like, if this random dude was actually doing this, he would be the strongest, one of the strongest humans on Earth in history also. So we're like, okay, this doesn't compute. You know, we look at the numbers he was doing before. It's not true or whatever. So how is it fake? He, there's something called a technique plate, and the big reds we lift are 25 kilos. And he had a technique plate in between two big reds, and it's 2.5 kilos, so one tenth of the weight, like five pounds. So it and was y'all, y'all spotted this. Oh, dude, yeah, live on it. Yeah. yeah. And so Dylan and I were like, "Yo, should we make a video? Should we do something about it?" And I was like, ah, "Dude, it's just too petty, but we've got a guy." 
who's a social assassin. You got to check this guy out. His name's Goob underscore U2. So his, he goes by Goob. And all he does is find fitness influencers who Photoshop their photos, who are doing scams, and doing shitty stuff on the internet, and he exposes yeah. them. And so he exposed this kid. And the video right now is probably like a it quarter million up. views. It got like 15,000 likes. Yeah. Like crazy traction. Yeah, so so like he was, he's like the Larry <laughs> David. I think he's also Jewish, too. So. Incredible. He's from, I don't no, he is. fact check that. I actually don't think he is. He's he's, a, he's in Brooklyn too. Gotta, like it would gotta all gotta make check. sense. We're, we're gonna check. We'll we love check. the guy. We met him, hung out with him at the Arnold Nicest Classic. Dude. Nicest guy. Super nice dude. But he's the he is the. I mean, I'm telling you, your listeners are gonna love this shit because all he does is expose the all the fucking fitness influencers that everyone hates. You know, they're bullshit, and they just warp their photos. Like he he like he measures the wall behind it. And oh, he, puts, he puts a straight line, and he says, wait, why is that door frame curved Smaller. a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Andy catches, like, child predators, too. Yeah, oh, he's dude. Oh, Chris Hansen type. Yeah, hey, dude. Have he, a seat. Would you have literally. a seat? Yeah, he's the Instagram work. have a seat guy. Yeah. He really the is, dude. Work. So he just, okay, did you see the last one that he did? The, uh, the police contacted him because he was trying to get another child predator. And the police contacted him and said that they were going to that they were going to put out a warrant for his arrest for harassment, for harassing the proposed child predator. Child predator. Yeah. So he made another post. He said the CCSU. It's like some, some. It's like you know, a college campus police or something. Like yeah. That. And he said they, you know, they said this like stop doing this or else we're going to arrest you or put a warrant out for you. And so his army, they call themselves the Goob Army. The they Goobers. go on the fucking police. Uh, Instagram and it's just endless comments like oh y'all are protecting a child predator now and all this shit it's it's, it's pretty awesome. fun it's pretty awesome it's fucking cool yeah. so he's like a, basically like a detective through the internet yeah. yes a real Richard yeah. yeah a real private eye yeah so that I yeah. mean it, I mean that's crazy to think about though because yeah. that's like how people live bro that's the means by what people live nowadays like through that network you know what I mean everybody's sure. at their phones everybody's in that fucking shit so like he's literally just that's beyond me because all the movies we watched, whenever they are investigating her to the detective, it's all like in real time with fingerprints and you know what I mean, having to dust. Shit. All the shit's public yeah. access too. Like you could just go on Google and but it's all digital footprint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here right now. Dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Got your shirt open with your taco meat. Hey, you look like a child predator. Anyways, guys, let's go back to the real test. So y'all, he y'all exposed this guy. Didn't you offer him some money or something to do it real in person? <laughs> yeah, I mean. I posted a comment on there just kind of like agreeing with everything Goob said. And then someone replied to my comment. was like, no, it's real. I know him. And I was like, cool. Do a video where he snatches 10 kilos less than what he posts. Take the weights off. Show me that they're real. I'll send you both 500 bucks. Boom. Yeah. Money talks we, and yeah. bullshit we walks. We would, yeah. I mean, I said I'd fly him anywhere he wants. I would. Yeah, we know, agreed to fly him out to Austin. Yeah, fly him, fly him out to Austin. And then we'd be like lifted in front of us and I will fucking pay you. Because... Dude, now I have a friend who's one of the strongest humans on earth. Like that's fucking cool. You yeah, know, it, yeah. It's win win. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know. If you can, if you can actually lift that, holy shit. Um, he has still not to this day accepted that invitation. No, no, no. He's he, been completely he, silent. He's been completely silent. Post. Pretty smart move, to be honest. Yeah. Pretty smart. Like just don't mm. even engage. Or he, he could have a bunch of followers at the time, or is he a no, big deal? Small, or he just kind of, well, yeah, just, just kind of did it to do it. Yeah, yeah, you just don't do that though. Like, he okay, so it sounds like we're being really petty, but he's a coach and he was selling his programming based off of his. Okay, method. so he's lying to people, yeah, like, yeah, and then making money off of lying to people. Exactly. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so I mean, just in general, like so much of like you see Rogan and shit, you see a lot of people somehow physical culture gets into the discussion, you know, somehow like working out and just your physical fitness gets into the discussion. So like my. Th thought process and our thought process is how can we work it back in so like we started from okay this really pointed focus on just fitness okay well that's really limiting you know like how can we reach out to comedians musicians yeah um and, and shit like that to, to at least expand it because everyone gives a shit about their fitness or else they'll die you know? right unless they're yeah i'm helping and die yeah as he looks, as he looks right at <laughs> maybe show up to box and we say you're gonna be there you fucking pussy dude Huh? Whatever, dude. Right, dude. Why am I even here? It's like a transgender thing. That's, 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 that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Hey. 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 Come on, we got 
Yeah, we here. needed the diversity in here. So do you All win right. anything like when you are actually competing against like at a meet or something? Like I guess there's like nationals or worlds or shit like that in that nationals. world. Right? Just soon he's it's, competing. Yeah, in he's, you're training right now, right? Six yeah. days a week or yeah. what, what's that go by? Yeah, six days a week, like yeah. two or three hours. Two or three hours. Day. And like when you get there, it's obviously categorized by weight, right? Your your weight. Yeah, class. it's weight class, and then it's just. Do you win any big money for? Nope. No, you just get like a fucking medal and a participation yep. trophy or some shit like that. Just a medal. That's just it. a medal. No money. Solid if you're, gold or some. If you're, if, no. yeah, if you're really you can't good, smelt you can, it down. If you're really good, the organization USA Weightlifting can pay you a pretty small stipend, and then that would be to help you train, and then hopefully go to the Olympics. Okay. That's, that's, okay. So you get more branding deals. You make your money off like supplement branding deals. Huh? Like yeah. For me, it's like a really good idea because I like I'm a coach. Like I sell mm. programming and stuff mm. like that. So if I'm doing the programming I'm selling right now, going into nationals. If I can go have a really good performance there, that's because I'm be I'm be honest. Ever since we did those power cleans for yeah. y'all's pocket, I haven't done one power clean. I know. Okay. You I, told I me you were gonna start too. <laughs> I, yeah, I did. But dude, yeah. I I was slamming my wiener against that goddamn bar the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, con- uh, yeah, I just, you know, uh, here I am. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like I'm Bobby at boxing. I'm not going to show up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's hard, dude. It, yeah, it. it's it's sometimes you can lose motivation to what, do, dude? do shit what, like dude? that. <laughs> what are you talking about me outside with? No, the fucking chicken nuggets look good, dude. Are we, oh, no, we're not even to that yet. It ain't even been 30 minutes. We're going to die. I'm saying, but or should I'm we eat saying. one? Should we, well, should we start off with the small ones? Because y'all did something the other day on y'all's podcast. Yes. We are so this is a clean. Yeah, this, this is, is a yeah, Dylan explain. Cooper idea. Brilliant, and I'm just he's a fucking yeah. Idea to so this is the thing. Here. We're just trying to do like new switch shit. it up. Yeah, like uh, we're the first, absolute first people to do hot ones and then lift. But we also, when we lift, we do literally the most technical movement. We we did the snatch. So like we would and it just get hotter and hotter. And then we'd try to snatch a really technical movement, and that yeah. would get heavier and heavier. With the hot sauces With on the, the hot, wings. Yes, on the wings. So, so uh, you know, that's something that we want to continue doing, and we we brought the bottles in for you guys today. And y'all got so. this from the Hot Ones. Shout out to yeah, the Hot yeah. Ones. Great fucking podcast. Great show. But we got chicken nuggets right here. Yep. Sauced up from one to ten. That looks, I'm going to be honest with you. First off, the chicken nuggets look terrible. It's okay. Their whole food's not. chicken nuggets, man. They're, they'll be all right. I mean, it's... Like what? You, just because you fell into some money now, you you, you can't you can't have <laughs> chicken this, nuggets, bro. I, mean, I just instantly we're gonna get through the third one. I'm gonna have to oh shit. yeah, you got the crumbs. I got yeah, the crumbs. that's right. You know that's what I'm right, saying? That's but right, that's right. Maybe we can get Gary to eat all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good you idea. Know, just, hey, if you want to be on the podcast, Gary, man. Gary's like, holy shit, yeah. you mean it? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just hope he dies. I have been you eating know? this good and well and ever. Is this a gigantic bottle of ranch or was it? Yeah, dude. Yeah, we got a ranch or milk. No, it's milk. Y'all just left the milk sitting out in the middle of the goddamn floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're drinking is, warm milk was a terrible yeah, choice, by the way. No, it's not warm. It's cold. We got okay. Uh, I've never seen it's a bottle of warm. Dude. This is this is it looks uh, like Budweiser, but in a milk, a milk <laughs> can. No, this is a. Uh, you probably won't. You might need the milk actually at the end, but. L- listen to me with the hot shit. It ain't ever. You know, it sucks going down, but coming Let's out. Write this down because he's. Coming out is the real problem, bro. This final fucking hot sauce is the the, the last dab or whatever. Fuck yeah, is. and we got a. Did you bring the bottle? What is it? Too? No, the bottles are in the kitchen. Have you ever seen the All hot right, one? Let's bottle? grab. Well, you don't yeah, have a television, it. but do you watch? No, I've, I've. I mean, I've obviously seen that shit, dude. So you'll <laughs> definitely when we maybe you cut this part out or whatever, but we'll, what? you definitely want to um, put the bottles over each one we do, just so. Because it'll make it look fucking. Well, weird. you didn't. Br- you just brought the chicken wings. On we the did, tray, but the bottles are all uncapped out there. Do you want? Should we bring them in? No, here? I put them in the bag and just grab the bag. Just grab the bag. Okay. Grab yeah, the bag. grab the bag. We'll talk to Dylan. Dylan, did you ever model? You are handsome young man. No, dude. I mean, I've taken pictures for like. You would be clothes and off and shit. No, nah, clothes are on. Okay. Well, I know it's a bummer. It's no fun. real money yet. No real money. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, how's the twisted tea treatment? It's good, man. Good it's stuff. delicious. Fuck yeah! Honestly, bro. This elixir stuff. Hey, that. Uh, that yeah. yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna it's, ever it, smoke it, it again while I'm, while we're on the pot. It, it, it gets you, works. It gets you high. It, it works. See, the other day when I was smoking, I, it, it gets works. You retarded. I couldn't even dry. Yeah. Like you got to be home. It's strong ass weed. What's in there? That is all the sauces. All right, let's do this thing. Are yeah. we gonna start off with one? All right. What's which, yeah. which sides are which? All right, guys, we're gonna the do first this. First one uh, is. Oh shit! Which side is which, dude? The no, classic. He put the the marker down for the okay. hot. Okay. So the first one is the classic. It's act. It's genuinely good, and Dylan's already. Yeah, dude, that, it's, a it's like almost been done. It. I've been using that all the time. Yeah, let's do what it. What are you saying, Georgie? Are you good? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, sit back, show it again. Mm-hmm. And then I guess Giorgio will hand these okay. little trays to us. Bring the tray around. Okay. It's this row oh over here God. on the side. Uh, here, Bobby. Just take a nugget, Bobby. We'll take a nugget. Yep, this is the first one? Yep. Yeah. We'll all do it at you the same time. I thought, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Just off that twist of tea, I have heartburn already. Good. So do, we have, do you have any pep? I want to uh, see you shit. Yeah, you I want to see you tums. shit on this podcast. The worse right it gets, the better Larry. it is for the viewer. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Uh, First one. Just classic. Classic. Yeah, classic. It's right, good. Cheers. It tastes good. Cheers, Cheers dog. Uh, down your hole. Oh, those are cold, dude. Yeah. That's the worst chicken nugget I've ever put in my fucking Yeah, those mind. are not good. You guys, I, I told you we should have heated them up. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna eat this plant next to me. Jesus Christ! What yeah. the fuck was it? Give me the milk already. My God! What the fuck is going on here? Boys, I might not. Let even me get make... a twisted tea or something that yeah, wash it down. Um, um, yeah, let me get a twisted tea. Um, I need a tea. Yeah, can I go, go get a tea? Grab a cup of tea, would you? No, please give me something to do. Jesus Christ! Yeah, dude. We could. So, just did go your like... dryer just start working? Is that why you? Dr- I've yeah, never I seen you. So yeah, the. the... <laughs> We got to get Bobby. When we did this, it was the same same vibe. It's like, it's hard to eat the first one because, because it's like just the nuggets kind of taste shitty or whatever. What what gets more interesting? Hmm? Whole Foods. Whole Foods. They suck. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. But there's, it's really hard to have another different situation, like where we have a bunch of wings and you have to gnaw on them a lot. Like this one, you just pop them and then. That was a good idea, though. I enjoy that podcast. So yeah, dude. What, what, uh, what's the name of your podcast people can find? Well, so our so it's on my YouTube channel. But it's all together. But it's called Lift Companion. Lift Companion. Yeah. yeah that's we're doing it again this weekend, so we're practicing for the weekend. We're doing the uh, hot sauce thing again. Yeah, this that's going to be the last time and, I do that. And we're going to fucking deadlift your, during your it. Your lady friend, uh, mm-hmm. Madison with an M, yes. my corrector, uh, the M is silent. Uh, she, she, she's a, an Olympic weight like record holder. Right. She's better than division. Yeah. She's better than you. Yeah, she's Dude, national she, champion. She's been on Team USA as a senior. She won nationals last year. Won the American Open last year. Like she's legit. Holy shit! And she's redheaded. No, she's blonde. Is she blonde? Okay, I'm yeah. color. I'm color she's blind. Like, it's just, yeah, same, same same situation. Dude, you got, you got Crohn's got and yeah. color blindness. You're really dude. It's uh, really honestly, it's a beautiful. How I got this far in life? Just an absolute story. Yeah. yeah Are you like really dyslexic too? Yeah, and amphibious. <laughs> so I can write with both hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I got web toes. All right, let's do round two, yeah? Already? God damn. Okay. Let's do Ab Ranch. There you go. You know what I'm saying? You I'm getting back in it, bro. I'm right, trying to get back the, in it. Right, you know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. Yeah, what what's the second one? Yeah. All right, the second one, Bliss and Vinegar, is ye- yellow, yellow Bird. They don't get bad <laughs> until like five. Nugget. Five? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, they get bad because these chicken nuggets suck. They're yeah. already bad. They just get yeah. a different type. All right, so this one, Bliss and Vinegar. Oh. It's already in my mouth. By, uh, okay. That's some yellow bird, dude. That's not bad. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Did you know? I remember when I was younger. Well, it's not like the chicken, you know? uh, my mom, you know, they didn't tell the, the ladies from the 80s that the ladies used to douche. Like, you never seen like a douche bag that you like, <laughs> women will put this little thing in their vagina and clean out the <laughs> pH. No, like, well, I mean, they were doing it real big in the 80s and 90s, a douche bag that but my mom would put vinegar in that motherfucker. That's why it came out That's all like, spicy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And uh, <laughs> yeah, but apparently it fucks up your pee. You're not supposed to do that because naturally, you know. I remember one time I was sleeping with this girl, and um, <laughs> I took her out on a nice steak dinner, paid a lot of money. She's a nice looking lady, and then uh, I went back to my house, and you know I'm kissing on down by that belly button. I'm a big fan of the belly button. Belly buttons are underrated, like the on deck circle, you know, till you get to the big times. And uh, you know, I'm in there, but I can smell I can smell that fucking pungent smell through the jeans. And I, I get it. Look, she's wearing black jeans. It's a hot summer day. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But not breathable. Well, then I took the motherfuckers off. I said, oh, no. Oh, no. And I tried to play it off. And I didn't want, you know, at this point, I'm just like, I'm not going to eat that. You know, I, and I'm not, I, I know you can smell it because I can fucking smell it. But then they always like their own <laughs> brand. You know, they always love their own brand. Like, they don't, like, oh, I don't know what's going on. So, anyways, we had sex. And uh, I threw her panties. <laughs> I threw her panties across the room. Well, they wind up falling behind my goddamn bed frame, all right? When my brother come in my room by a couple days later, he goes, dude, there's a goddamn fish in your room. It's bad. And I got to searching, and I found that crusty bastard. Ew. And it looked like dried tomatoes. You know what I'm saying? Just all crinkled up. But she kept wanting to do this kind of stuff. I said, I just can't handle it. So I talked to the EBGYON lady, or, uh, my buddy's friend. <laughs> 
she had the uh, she was an EB EBGY on it, whatever you know, the pussy doctor. And yeah. uh, I, I was like, Look, "What's going on?" She goes, "Well, her pH problem. You need to give her this medicine." But I didn't have the heart to tell her. I really didn't. So I went ahead and just put it on her doorstep, and I knocked on the door and I ran away, and, and leaned it up against her so it fall when she walked out. And she took it. But I guess it was chronic because it still smelled like shit the whole time. And then, you know. Wait, so you, you ding-dong ditched her with uh... With some EBG while win medicine. <laughs> You're a good man, dude. Well, Wait, you know, well, maybe you should... a... I don't want to tell him it's, it's embarrassing. Service. Yeah. It's embarrassing, you know, and I don't want to be the one that tells you. I mean, if my wiener smells, I'll smell it. You know, I'll be like, I'm not going to put that on anybody. Surely. You know Everyone smell your wiener right now. Or, you know, hey, yeah, you know, if your wiener's burning, don't put that on somebody. You know what I'm saying? Be yeah. a bigger man. So... Right, was God we damn. round three? Hold on, motherfucker. Let's get... I don't even know if we're going to get that far. Yeah, we I've already got a headache. I smell fear. Yeah. How about we skip a couple so we don't do all fucking... All right. nah, yeah. nah, no, nah, we can skip. Yeah, let's hop it, dude. Yeah, yeah. We got a hopscotch in here. Just just the, only because that... that you know what I mean? That's I ain't trying to have that many chicken so let's nuggets. Take, let's take two skips forward and let's go to five. That's okay. where it gets... Yeah, it's going to get real. So yeah. That's that one. What's the next one is the... It's that uh, well I don't legal one. I don't know if I want to do all that. Well, yeah, that shit sucks. Okay. Which it one actually is? gets kind of real here. Okay. And we're going to skip that and go to the... No, that's the one we're doing. That's five. This is their version of making us better. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing this for you. Yeah, he's already sweating. Oh, this, Zoom this in is... on my boy's armpits right here. He's got it going. Look at that. Dude, I'm training. I that chronically sweat. Uh, so let me ask so, you, though, yeah, some that. more yeah, I love on, on the training too. stuff. <laughs> Yeah, obviously, if it's a, a an Olympic thing, you can't do any kind of steroids or fucking any kind of supplements, right? No, every huh? time I compete, I get drug tested. You get drug tested and pretty regularly, right? In 2016, I got drug tested 15 times or something. Like have that. you ever done it before? Is that fair to ask? You don't. You don't have to answer that. You don't have to answer that on the camera if you don't I'm want. I'm gonna but. say no. Okay, say yeah. no. Just to be safe. Say no. But it's actually no. Okay. Or is it Zach? <laughs> What'd you take to make you taller? <laughs> to make me taller? Uh -huh. Just drank milk, man. You know. Yeah. Standard yeah. stuff. What kind of is that whole milk that you bought? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm dude, lactose and intolerant. Fucking dude. utter, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm just tolerate it. Straight out the utter, dude. I'm I'm straight, like, I, I on, milked your mom, we're, dude. We're on two right now. Damn, I, I don't dude, like the way I feel. Fucking milking, fucking. Yeah, so yeah, I don't like mom. the way I feel on two. And we're going to five. Yeah, we're going straight to five. Yeah. That was your call, guys. Cinco. Wait, you warm up to it. So, are you sure it's this? Five. Hey, Friday yeah, five. Cinco de Mayo. Okay, Everybody this is called, number five is called Senor Lechuga Hot Sauce. Oh, boy. Is that what you call your wiener when you got chlamydia? <laughs> adobo, <laughs> adobo, black lime, so and ghost peppers. Five. So we're skipping those Here, two. Bobby. I did it. That's the one? Oh, my God. All right. I've already got okay. a fucking headache. You want some ranch? I'm move that back. Before I go there. You can get some ranch or what? Oh, There's fuck. This oh, is... you give me the bad one, dude. No, this thing looks chewed up. Boys. Fucky. Boys, this uh, is going to get real, real. No, no. Eat it all, Bob. Come on now. It's chicken jerky. Come on, son. <laughs> eat it all, big dog. Yeah. You quitting again on me like you did at boxing? What are you talking about? Dude, I'm tired of you just half Bob, it. Bob, you, yeah, don't half-ass it. I'm telling you, I love you, dude. You got this. Cheers, Cheers boys. Cheers, boys. This, this is, this is going to suck. This. Oh, yeah. It's not even good. Yeah, that's not real. They start tasting different. Oh, no. It tastes like shit. Oh, this fuck. is batter right here. I'm putting it in a fucking empty oh, can. Oh, my God. Do it. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Boy, I don't know. I don't know where we're at here. Yeah. It tastes like donuts. <coughs> tastes like donuts? Yeah. It's pretty yummy. Fuck. I like the sauce. That sauce was good. Yeah. Good sauce one. saved that chicken. Um, <laughs> was that? I'm going to start sweating real bad, dude. Yeah. Already yeah, oh uh, no, yeah, that boy's already sweating. No. And y'all yeah. wore sweatpants on a hot Are summer day, so that's fucking. Hey, did you get bit by He's a spider or something, dude? What's no, going on? See, right there? dude, when I was little, what uh, is that? They're ingrown hairs, motherfucker. Let me tell you about them. Um, when I was seventeen, I tried out for the swimming team, which I don't swim very good, anyways. But it looks like bruised. Uh, well, I picked at it. Will you give me a chance here, guy? Will you just coming at me? What are you fucking? Well, I wasn't just curious. That's why I haven't been able to say. Listen, I shaved I my thighs. I'm worried about. I you. shaved my thighs when I was 17. I used my mom's. <laughs> I used my mom's nair. Straight I don't know if y'all know what nair is. That's gangster shit. No, but they cool. never. Now they never grow back properly. I get these all the time. Someone said I need to do like a micro. Day. What the fuck was in that wing, dude? Fuck y'all. It's burning you, huh? Yeah, it's burning up. I don't want to do that. Are you? A little bit. You got that Mexican in you, dog. Yeah, Come on. You're right. That's, you're right. Because that's, that's the fucking my favorite one yet. That's the only <laughs> one that I like. PED, dog. Yeah. <laughs> 
I didn't it's really like PED. it. I, I you got a gap in your mustache. Yeah, you that sauce is better. Right. That's what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah you got my the gap. nose always running, so there's like a fucking waterway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a little funnel. Way. So you've been at the podcast and shit for what seven years? Or I mean, it's YouTube mainly stuff, y- mainly Just YouTube reels, stuff like that. Yeah, YouTube videos for seven and what, years. You make a pretty good living. Or is that your only job? Is the income off of that? Or what, yeah, what, what do you kind of do? What's so your, I was doing what Dylan was doing before training um, and coaching, coaching and training hard, and then. Um, uh, the YouTube took off, and I could make a living off that, and then take on some sponsorships. Sure, I got a Patreon as well, where I, I'll put some programming. And this there, is so. y'all's uh, attire. That's your attire right there. That's yeah. your stuff. Yeah, Barbell Apparel is the company that I that I go with. Nice. Yeah, Barbell Apparel. You like that, Georgia? You're gonna get one of those. Yeah. When'd you get this fucking nose ring? Yeah, oh, Georgia, you don't cease to amaze me ever, dude. You're spectacular. We need that shit, dude. You, you need a car. You, do. <laughs> <laughs> you need a fucking car. We need to start with a car there, dude. All right, dude. Well, that's not that much. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. You don't we need can that. get a nasal. What is it called? The dilator. The dilator. You sleep with that thing in? Yeah, I bet that's nice. Yeah, it sounds pleasant. Oh, I just started doing that. You no. tape your mouth? Yeah. yeah you what? So you, so you breathe out your nose. Yeah. For I just what? I doing it. I don't know this any different yet. You, it now, raises your testosterone from taping dude, there's your a mouth huge and putting something in your nose. This sounds right like you're getting raped. This is crazy. Actually, the breathing out of your <laughs> nose thing is crazy. So kids, when they're developing, like very young, like toddlers, if they get a sinus infection or something like that, they begin to mouth breathe. And then they teach themselves to just breathe out of their mouth. Then they're Because they're not closing their mouth, their skull is so malleable that they're just keeping it open. Their jaw doesn't develop forward. It doesn't develop out. So, so you see people that have like those really sucked in huge, chin, sucked in chins, huge overbites. It's because they probably were mouth breathing as children. Oh, Another man. thing too is like uh, chewing solid food like earlier than people think. Like the Gerber baby shit. If you extend that too long, they don't develop the jaw muscles, and the muscles can make the skull grow properly. So, you so you're also a pediatric guy. No, I just I'm a nerd like that, you know. It's like What about swallowing gum? I've been swallowing gum <laughs> since I was 7, and I still did it up until my early 20s. And I think that's why I have the Crohn's. Yeah, I was about to ask. Swallowing you. gum yeah. is not good for you. Yeah, you get Crohn's from that, dude. Everyone knows that, right? I sucked we on a passive I sucked on Everyone's a pacifier. Nodding, yeah. I sucked on a pacifier until I was 6. Did you? Yeah, no, so that's that's dead ass. That. Bro, my dad, yeah, Eight. my dentist said don't you like you can't use the pacifier anymore. And my dad was like, we can't use this anymore. And I didn't cry. Like, I just fucking grit my teeth. I used to bite my toenails, yeah, I mean, That was too. the toughest I've ever been. That's wild. You yeah. were that flexible? Bite your toenails? Do it Can now. you still do it? Can you well, it? I'm not that flexible no Come more. Come on, try. try. I, no, I used to bite my toenails, and I used to eat sticks. How old were you? Shit, probably up until I was 9 All right, or 10. For, for real. Damn, real for real, who eats their boogers in this room? Raise I do. your hand. It builds your immune system. Do you, do you eat your burgers? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, from time to time, I have to get drug. Did you eat your burgers? Ha- well, do you eat? Your I did. When I was like, I still do because half I half the time, bro. I never. With- I swear, I never ate my boogers. I just didn't see the appeal. Well, I mean, they're yours. You're so brave. They're yours, and it makes your immune system stronger. And now, as an adult, eating, help you fight I, Sometimes, COVID? actually, I never got COVID because I ate my boogers, and I got blood type negative O. I don't but even like that. So but dude, I, 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 I eat my boogers. I've eaten a booger. I've eaten. A, I've eaten boogers. I'm eating someone else's booger. The lady that I was in love with. Tell us about that. Well, what was her name? Taste different than your boogers? Yeah, they all got different flavors. Taste like cocaine? No, well, mine do. Yeah. Right. Mine have had them. Yeah, like the cocaine ones. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Like, I mean, sometimes you get a big. Co- it's usually at the post drugs one. That's the, that's it. That's what I've eaten, like a few of them. But cocaine's the only one that works, so ketamine doesn't like. Well, I, I, you say that. No, you can't. A, co- a ketamine booger won't do do it for you. Well, like let me tell booger, you, a cocaine booger will do cocaine shit. Well, let me tell you, the other night, I did some ketamine, and this first time I went in a K hole. Yeah. Bad, like bad, like yeah, like look, hay is for horses, and so is ketamine. Okay. <laughs> you, you probably shouldn't do it. But right, I, should we I, do this next one? Yes, we should. But Hot. I want to. Yo, are we doing it right now? Yeah. Hotheads official. Why not? Oh, That's number God. seven? No, we got to skip. Go to Did seven. You want to skip it? Seven. You want to skip, skip again? Let's skip another one. Seven's the worst. We'll skip Seven one. is the worst. Which way? Hey, put that back. Put that back. Are we doing seven? Or are yeah, we doing... let's just go to seven. seven. Seven's the worst. Seven. Well, I don't want to do the worst. Well, yeah. all right, let's do we're seven. supposed to build up. We're supposed to do, right, let's let's do, do the same proper. Let's okay, fine. We'll do seven. So these ones right here. One, two, three, four. What did Bobby taste? 
Are you sure? No, no, no. This is seven. No, here. seven's like just, dark. Took it here. This one. Put this one. Put that yeah, because six is right there, dude. Because that he just took seven. That's seven. That's seven that he Bobby just took. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. Seven. No, that's no, eight, no, buddy. That's eight. Eight, no, eight that's nine, eight. ten, dude. You can't count. Damn boy, so that's lift not the bomb then. Seven is not the bomb. Seven is, yeah. Seven is. I'll take seven. Fuck. Shit. Oh, yeah. This looks like this, dude. This looks. Oh like wait, this. no. This is the one we need to take right here. We'll take that next. Fuck it. No, this is eight. The, we need to take the next one. How about up. we double down eight, seven, and eight at the same time? Yeah, you. you right. take, yeah, we're not taking the bomb. We're taking the one before it. That's like the coolest one. All right, what are we doing, man? So we're building. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> we got four more, boys. Okay. I all right, you already ate it? I just don't want to eat these chicken nuggets. Yeah, they suck. Okay. Is that shit going to be high as fuck? The next one, yeah. The next one? Yeah. Okay. This is just another tasty little treat. That wasn't bad. So you've been sober for seven months? Yeah. We have a lot of sober people on this podcast. I don't understand because we uh, Sorry, aren't. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how's that going? It's great, dude. I you mean, never miss getting fucked up? Oh, I miss it all the time. Yeah. But I see like... The transformation my, that's happened. Yeah, you look good, life. son. You look like, good. Literally everything, like relationship with my family, my living situation, everything has gotten money substantially. Money. It's crazy what it's just uh, you know, because for a long time when I was out in Oldfield, there from like from like when I was twenty six till I was twenty nine, I gained a bunch of weight, was out of shape and shit like that, and like, <laughs> oh, funny dude, real story. I had to live with that. Just how you live without a car, I do that same thing. Except I didn't walk anywhere. I was just fat. And uh, but dude, like seriously, when you when you switch that, I did like the keto diet and I lost like like fifty seven pounds. Like yeah. I got down and like Damn. Wiener, wiener starts getting harder in the morning. Like your sex drive is up. Like and like just like the way you feel, like your positive outlook, your energy and shit. Yeah. It like it, it's being in shape is. I mean, it's kind of key, bro. Like yeah. it, it, like it, it helps your mental state, your mind, your functionality, like everything, man. It's yeah. like and like I used to have real bad anxiety. Like all the time, mm-hmm. and I would drink to, to ease that. Cope it. Yeah, and it would be like, oh, we're going somewhere. Let me drink so I can feel comfortable while I'm there. And now it's like I feel the same way all the time. So it's a lot easier just on my Fuck brain because yeah. I'm just like, oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna feel like when I go to this place. I don't need to get hammered to feel okay. Getting up, yeah, yeah. Dude, it was a weird adjustment. When I uh, when I turned thirty, I did my first cycle of steroids, like, but the injectable ones, what right? Did you do? I just did test uh, test ethanate three hundred, uh-huh. right? And uh, I was taking a little bit of Anabar, too, and shit. Okay. But I didn't come off of it, like the PCTs. I knew my post-cycle therapy. Mm-hmm. Correct, yeah. correct. Like, I was taking Remedex and shit, like, while I was on and stuff. Yeah. But I didn't do, I just kind of quit it cold turkey when I ran out. Yeah. And, dude, I'm going to be honest with you. It fucked my endocrine system up. So, but like, dude, I've never been a depressed person. I never, like, get fucking anxiety. Yeah. Like, there was times where I, like, I, like, wanted to kill myself. Like, yeah. it fucked with my hormone imbalance so bad that, like, I just thought, like, and I started drinking heavily just to get rid of that feeling yeah. of just anxiousness and anxiety. Like, dude, your endocrine system is a big part of for sure every fucking thing in your life. Yeah. And you know your, what I'm yeah, saying? thyroid as well. Thyroid. And, but testosterone in men, like, it is a key determining factor in, in happiness and health. A hundred percent. But I think people, if you go and you get tested and you get your testosterone results back and they're not that great. Well, that's just a snapshot. Like say you had some bad sleep the night before, sure. you know, a bunch of, bunch of things like that. Um, so it's not always the answer to supplement with testosterone. Having said that it could work. It could not work. But like, yeah, man, if you're, if you tank your nuts, basically like your, your nuts just for, for they, dude, stop they shriveled producing. up, they yeah. shriveled up into they my stop producing because they don't Oof. need to They shriveled up into my stomach. Yeah. Yeah. No, they I'm still back. looking for one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Still looking for one, I mom gave it away or something. Yeah. But uh, I, yeah, and I look like, since y'all been in the health fitness bullshit and stuff like that. Everybody wants to talk about the cold, the cold plunge in the sauna. Everybody wants to do that now. It's a big thing now. But a buddy of mine who I did that shit with out in the oil field, he and his wife are in the CrossFit. They got a team of eleven kids. They got a whole basketball team plus a reserve, and uh, they're real big in the CrossFit. And he started telling me he was following this guy. I forget his name, but. Like, everybody, like, you do the sauna for 20 minutes, you get in the cold plunge, you know what I'm saying? And you get in a shower, hot water, shit like that. But he was saying, he, this guy that he follows, this guy's like 60, and his testosterone level was like 400, 300, something like that, old man. To, yeah. And for like 220 days, he did cold plunges. But instead of getting in the sauna first and getting in a cold plunge, he would do the cold plunge for three minutes. And then when he got out, instead of getting a hot water shower, he would just 
do push-ups and sit-ups and chin-ups until he warmed his natural body temperature yeah. mm -hmm. up from the cold. And he raised his testosterone from 300 to 1,100 in the, in the course of like 200-something days. Yeah, and honestly, like one of the big reasons for that, your nuts are just hanging out. They don't warm up as fast as ever, or they get cold a lot quicker just because yeah. it's not insulated by a lot. Sure. So when you get out, your body's like, these need to warm back warm up because they're like vital organs, so it just pumps blood into them. Yeah, it's and the <clears throat> the cold – it has like a bunch of different effects. One of them's like the shock proteins, and yeah, shit like that. Well, or yeah, but I I think the the biggest one for people is the dopamine release, mm. um, and also like you feel like you accomplished something. But we were just talking about this today, actually. There's like this big we call them optimal bros, and they're people who on the internet speak about <laughs> these things and like you need to optimize this, you need to optimize this, 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 and they'll give you a 90 second clip that makes cold plunging really sexy, right? But you could cold plunge as much as you want, but if you eat like shit, sleep like shit, and party sure, a bunch, goes, you're not going to... Diet is yeah. key to everything. But I think what happens is it people get this paralysis by analysis thing. They start to analyze every little thing, and they need to do every little thing. And then when one domino falls, they're just like, fuck, I can't do this life. you know. But they could take these small steps to work on the big things. Big steps, yeah. Instead of you know work all these other sexy things that people see like the new shit there's always n something new that you can optimize and so it's like it's it's just an important thing to to think about if you're fixing your life or whatever so like, when you're on uh not to cut you off zach but when no, you're, it's true, when you're uh, no it's 100 percent true but just to go to the diet thing like so when you're doing the training right now like that like are you following a regimen like a diet a strict not really. I just make sure I eat a lot of meat. Now, are you trying to hit macros? Do you calorie count? Do you ketos or anything? Like I kind of eat by feel. Like I can. I've been doing it for so long. Like I can feel when I'm depriving myself of something. Like what do you I'm, think about fasting? What y'all's take on? I think fasting? fasting's good. Yeah. 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 Do you work out while you fast, or you no? I I, I I do it so like I have that like uh, that like drug addict look, kind of like Bobby, except I'm like top heavy, like yeah. I've been in prison. Yeah. And uh, but like you know like but I've learned like with when I'm fasting, if I do like. Like high interval shit, like hit stuff. Like I get depleted so fast on anything yeah. in me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but I guess macros is key when you're trying to put on muscle yeah. and strength. And really, shit it's like just that. if Recovery? you eat certain foods, you can just eat as much as you want, and like most people you'll can. Pretty, yeah. you'll be pretty much fine. It's once you start eating all this processed bullshit, that's when you get unhealthy. But like if you're eating red meat, sweet potatoes, rice, eggs, all that stuff, you can just shovel that shit down and like nothing. All right. Well, what about really does pineapple happen. make your cum taste better? Ask Bobby. Yeah. Wait, that's weird because that would mean, yeah. No, you, uh, yeah, that's weird. I mean, I, I think so. I mean, I've heard Bobby from just a comes lot of in his own mouth. That's I've heard why, from that's a lot of people. Ask. Wikipedia said so, so I believe so. WebMD. Bobby, ever you suck your own wiener, dude? No. Oh, could, one though. of my buddies. Yo, one of my buddies yeah, could. I just got better. Like, I'm still not that bent. Straight up. Yeah, that's why I go to yoga. I want to get better about it, dude. You want to get, you want to learn how to suck shit. your own cock? Is that why you, why you do, you're doing yoga? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he yeah. could. Dude, he it's my buddy said he could suck his own dick. Really? And I was like, but was it was it good? It? And he's like, no, nah, surprisingly, like no. It wasn't feels great. like you're sucking your own someone's dick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. Not, when I was 15, I rolled up into a ball and I got the head into my mouth. <laughs> Is that gay though? It's not. No, it's your dick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But then at that point, it don't even, it don't even feel like you're getting your dick sucked because like you're sucking somebody's dick, and then when you come, it just it hits you in the face. You came. Like, yeah, you came. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> listen, I, I, I finish what I start, boys. So you you put the head in your mouth and you were jerking it off. Yeah, jerking it, and then you just come on yourself. And you're like well, this in is, your mouth. Well, in my face. I'm you not. You drank it? No, you should have. You should have fucking. Yeah, it tastes like pineapple. That shit. You should have just fucking drank that shit. No, I just you know, and then and then like, well, let me get a towel. This is terrible. Boys, do we march on? <laughs> yeah, we go to let's go to number nine. Let's All right, go. Fuck it. I love how we're the only podcast that can incorporate like weightlifting into like coming. So yeah, that's dude. pretty cool. Special oh, stuff. Is, uh, All right, that's the one. Huh? All this right, one dude. is called Hellfire Cranked. Yikes. Hellfire Cranked. All right, boys. I'm not having a good day. All right. Oh shit. Am I having fucking cold? Yeah, you might want to go get. We might, we might need to get some more, Bobby. Right, Here, I'll cheers. Down your hole. Here, Georgia is going to get it. Right. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, I don't All right. All right. Oh. oh, my God. Fuck. It's making my teeth hot. Instantly, that sucks. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. <coughs> I just swallow it. Fuck it. The chicken's right. so dry, I have to chew it for so long, too. Oh yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, God, it's not that shit. Oh fuck, dog, that dry chicken that you have to—it's not. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. The back, <laughs> the back end ain't too bad. Nope. 
Back end sucks too. No, it doesn't. Not that bad. Uh, Here we go. Let's uh, mom down. Uh, How the fuck did y'all lift on that? Thank you. Uh, I don't you know, dude. Dylan, you want some water and some milk or something? I got some water. See, but that's what I need. That's what I need. Bro, I might need. That was. Wor- oh. Yo. Bro, let's go. We're going to keep rolling. We need to go. Well. Um, oh. Man, that sucked, dude. I might get the milk. Mm. Nah. Speaking of uh, hot stuff. Mm. One time. Uh, mm. One time what? A girl. The girl that I was dating uh, for a long time. I almost got married to him. For four years, we uh, went out during crawfish season and ate a bunch of crawfish. Yeah. Fuck, that sucks. Why do we do this? What happened? When, what happened when you ate them crawfish? Though, was it wild? It was good. Crawfish hot, right? <laughs> ah. Yeah, that's just wet. Yeah, I ate that crawfish and uh, we went back to the house. We started fooling around. Well, I forgot to eat that crawfish a couple hours later because we've been oh. drinking. I saw that shit in my teeth and shit, and I ate her out, and her shit, like, caught on fire. Like, I had to pour Pepto-Bismol on her pussy. Like, I thought I was going to take her to the emergency room. Oh, man. I can take some Pepto-Bismol. Yeah, I'm not, hey, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not eating that 10th one. Yeah, I don't blame you, dude. I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. Bobby can eat if he'd like, but. Some of that milk real quick. Hold up. Because that that tea don't help. You got to shake it. Make sure sure the cap's on and make sure you shake it. That oh. tea's not helping, no doubt. Oh, oh, fuck that. I just need a little milk. I'm down for 10, though. I ain't gonna bitch up. I'll do 10 with you. <coughs> We're all gonna do 10. Uh, I ain't doing, that. doing 10, yeah. You can tell me not. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, I put a lot on this time. Yeah, it's different, though. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, dude, this fucking... I don't even drink milk that much no much, like anymore, but like That's this shit reminds milk. me of titties. Oh, man! You know what I mean, like, like breast milk. milk. Drink milk. Hey, yeah. you ever you ever hooked up with a single mom that was like breastfeeding that time? No, I have, dude. That breast milk's a different kind of texture. Is it good? Is it? I don't know if it's good Bro, or bad. I but feel it's like a I'm weird on acid text. right now, dude. He's crying. Dude. Look at his Are you eyes. all right, dude? Hope no, together. I'm not all right. We're not gonna do ten. I gotta do ten. Yeah, you definitely got to do 10. This was your idea. Yeah, Laser. If he's doing 10, you got to do it, bro. There's a one motherfucker in here. We're taking this podcast from you. If you can't do number 10, we're taking it from Y'all you. I'll take it, dude. <laughs> I'm having trouble on nine. Oh. What, he's got how long we been going, Georgia? Right at an hour? All right, we'll do a little longer. Uh, I'll tell you what, Webb. Oh, Webb, Gary, do all four tens. Yeah. Bro, that was so bad. I feel stoned. Right, he's, he's here. Oh. It, 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 well, while I was talking to Mike, dude, I call you podcast before. This is insane. That sucked, dude. How'd y'all lift weights on this shit? I don't even know now. I mean, if you eat all of them, the buildup kind of softens the blow nope. a little bit. I don't think that's real. It has to be. Yeah, I mean, it's worse this time. He's chewing. Yeah, that's pretty tea. bad, bro. Chewing that liquid. sucks. Um, should we just go for it and just get it over with? No, y'all, y'all can honestly do that. I'm good. I'm okay. tapping out. They tap out all the time on Hot Wings. I'm tapping out because I know what that last one is. We'll let the comment section That last one you. sucked. That, uh, the comment section can even fucking obliterate me. I don't. Yeah, I don't care either. Yeah, they ain't honestly, got to live with me in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. My, hemorrho- well, my hemorrhoid's already pulsing. I mean, I mean, I'll do it. Yeah, and I'll interview y'all while y'all do it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, no. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Worst day of my life. All right, well, I'm this not going to be able to the last to take dab, bro. I'm, I at least get one that's the same. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, they're doing, they're doing the last uh, dab. You fucking ass, that's what I didn't get. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers to my, my homies here doing the last dab. I'm struggling on nine. I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, How's that? Oh, that's got to be bad, ain't it? I'm about to eat this fucking fake plant. Laser, you fucking pussy. That's fine, dude. I want everyone to roast Hey, this, I'm, a puss, I'm a pussy. I'm a pussy. Well, this one's kind of sweet, huh? It's good. Mm. God, but it does. Oh, fuck. Um, so, we'll snatch we'll clean. What's your matter. favorite What's yeah. your favorite lift there? Deadlift. Guy? Deadlift? Mm. Deadlift. Probably the snatch. Yeah? It's fun. Good stuff. You get to be huh? fast and athletic and it looks cool. No one knows what the fuck you're doing when you're doing it. I bet it helps, like, dating a girl in the scene, though, with it, too. Huh? It's cool. Cause, yeah, because like, y'all got the same shit. Up. Yeah, come yeah. on. Yeah. Cause you date an artist, right? She's a legit painter. He's going through something. Yeah. 
God uh, damn it, dude. Fuck. Yeah, I'm still struggling. Over <laughs> yeah, I did an artist. Are you good? <laughs> oh, God. That was, honest, boys, is not as bad as the last one. It wasn't. Skipping like that is way worse. Yeah. You don't build up the tolerance. No, yeah, you don't build it up. <sighs> no, yeah, that that other one was worse. Oh, you shit. You ate the worst one. I'm glad. <sighs> I'm glad we all got to burn together, milk, boys. Boy. Dude, you just see you in hell. <laughs> yeah. you know? Well, boys, <sighs> I'm never doing that again. I'm never gonna podcast. I'm never gonna do that for fun. I'm mean, just not gonna. <laughs> that's why when I see motherfuckers that like the Buffalo Wild Wings get the hottest shit dude, and ruin dude, their Sean day. Evans, his name? Uh, yeah, I don't know how he does it every single episode. Hats off to him, bro. That guy's a trooper. I don't know how he does, and he continues to. That has to be a concern, right? Like you're... he's got to take some that coats his stomach or puke, dude. A lot yeah. of you know the professional yeah, eaters. If you puke up that fucking puking is not the move. I feel your like. esophagus is gonna be yeah. Your airlines. shit be fucked up. Professional eaters, they all puke backstage. Yeah, What's up with your movie? You're all gonna be on a movie soon, right? Well, tell me yeah, about we're that. working through some things, man. It's it's not it. It's it's a brutal thing trying to get a movie going. Yeah, it's really really tough. The main thing is getting money together. Sure. Um, but we've had some hiccups, and we're kind of dealing with a, a current hookup or hiccup. But we're if if this ends up going through if our plan ends up going through it could be actually fucking amazing cuz we'll we'll end up getting I'll end up getting the rights to the movie what's the premise of the movie can we have a little it's kind of like like whiplash but y'all haven't seen whiplash have yeah, you yeah i've seen it yeah it's like whiplash but like kind of like a weightlifter the music movie version you ain't of seen it. that yeah, the drum movie. Yeah. It's like it's, uh, it's like a, a you know in a sport that no one cares about a dude beating his head against the wall. It's fucking and then great. a bunch of shit happens this in his life talk. while he's trying to go to the Olympics. It's that you know. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So it'll be good, you know. But we got to get it off the ground. It's fucking brutal, man. Being an independent filmmaker is like is no joke. It's tough. It's yeah. If you can be an independent filmmaker with a million dollars to spend, yeah, it's your first go. You just throw a million dollars at it. That's fine. Don't mean it's going to make you money back. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we had to, you know, work on raising it, but we've got some really cool executives who are like patient and they're, they're willing to work. So, so yeah, dude, that's, okay, dude, well, yeah. that pans out for you. Yeah, man. Fuck. Yeah, hey, you know awesome. you should do? You should probably tell them executives not to eat that shit. You just never dude, eat. dude, I'll never do that again. I'm Thank like, you, you know, that. I feel like, like, I feel like, you know, it's like tired now. Like, yeah. Are you tired? You release a lot of endorphins whenever, right? That's what happens. Something happened, happens? man. I feel like almost like spicy food, like triggers. I feel like shit. I, I feel like I kind of like it. It is kind of druggy. Like. Yeah. I feel stoned, like for real, dude. Oh. Holy shit. You feel, yeah, I feel like when you come, then you want that person to go home. Like that, yeah. that post nut clarity, dude. Post nut yeah. clarity is, is that one nothing? of the most insane things ever. It's crazy. Dude, where else I, are we like? Where else are we like? I want this so bad. And then, bye bye. And then, I'm talking. Sometimes it's like you're like three what quarters of the way done. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already like, oh my god, this sucks. Like that. Well, you know, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, you have a girlfriend. It's way different. I'm gonna go, way different. Hey, I'm gonna go on, on a little tangent side note on that. Like, say it. So like, my brother told me this a long time ago because my brother like, he like, he he don't have a lot of sex, but when he has sex with someone, it's someone that he kind of like likes or indoors or like is fond of right he calls it sexual with intellectuals so like he's attracted to women that he can have a conversation with and be smart with which Dang. always <laughs> are, they're not yeah, I mean, they're not always the prettiest but i've found too like yo know, there's sometimes you just attracted physically to one another right and that's yeah. a great time whatever but then by the time you're done you're like this person's we don't vibe with someone like i like to refrain from having sex with people that i don't actually vibe with if i vibe with it because after the public letter like if you're a cool hang i want to hang out and just bullshit you know what i'm saying but but if you're not, then it's that awkward situation. Like, who pays for the Uber? Get the fuck out of here. Bro, that's shit. why girlfriend sex is the best. Or or steady hookup sex. <laughs> well, awesome. steady hookup, you know? It's debatable, <laughs> right? Because there's nothing like the, the, the thrill of that chase for the strange. There's nothing like strange first time. Right, but, but for, for 12 minutes, what's your sacrifice if that, <laughs> you know? Whoa, 12 <laughs> so, minutes? What a guy. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> What are you, some kind of Olympic what, weightlifter? What what men are willing to sacrifice for that short amount of time is actually crazy, and it's just a chemical thing that happens in your brain. Sure, I mean, but it was all instinctual because we're, you know, animals at our basic cores. It's all, but I mean, like, fucking someone and actually having shit in common and wanting to hang out with them, you could, you, you could do that and have that. 
But like, I will say, girlfriend sex or like a steady hookup sex, you find comfortability in the things that they like and the things that you like and shit yeah. like that. So it becomes, you know, it's repetitive. It becomes comfortable, right? Yeah, but they're always like, gonna want something else deep down. Well, dude, you fuck dudes, so you need. That's it. How do you know this? You took the words right out of my head. What are we doing? What are we doing? Bobby fucks dude. No, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Bobby's got a big old wiener. Dude, don't stop. Really? Just Probably the that. biggest winner. Stop Wait, really? That, I've never dude. seen like stop it that, in person bro. live. No, dude, but they'll send it in no. these text messages. It's just big no, old hog. I dude, it's like as big as this. Shut the fuck up, Bobby. You got yourself a hog? Dude, hog. Hog. But just you, you know, no, dude, it's the skinny dudes, man. It's, no, it's no, always man. a weird guitar tech skinny dudes. They just throw that fucking meat. They just throw meat around. It's bullshit. Just walking around. Hey, boys, come here. I feel like when he has sex, he's just stiff as a board with his wiener heart all like that. You know what I'm saying? Like just fucking, fucking just pounding him. He lets him do all the work. Those artsy himself. girls, dude, they just, they're following. They just, they just spin me. around, dude. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the artsy just, girls I'm are following out Nether Hour like crazy, man. Dude. Oh, they love him. Yeah, they love Nether Hour, and they want a piece of that Big Johnson. They do. No, bro. that's not about me, man. They, they want a piece they, of that country worm. You know what I'm saying? Country worm. He said, that's hilarious. Hey, go see the country worm. Yeah, you know. That's where I'm going after this. All right, dude. Yep. It's going to be fun, dude. No, I bet it is. Just, I bet it yeah, is. Uh, yeah, but you ain't going to bring all that stuff up. What about your big wiener? No, you, yeah, you, you embarrassed to talk about it? Yeah, dude, I am. Uh, yeah, dude, you hook up with them women. So he's not denying it. So it's actually a... No, no it's, it's a big not, wiener, dude. It's not. It's regular. I mean, dude, look, I got a, you know, average white male. I'm not going to hurt a soul, but Bobby's got something that, like... No, nah, it's regular, dude. I mean, dude, it'll blow your, you know, it'll blow That's your... That's fucking I mean, weird, dude. You ever had a flat tire on the side of the road? Yeah. yeah. You, ever had, you, ever had, you yeah. ever had to call somebody to fix that tire? Yeah. Well, no, because you should say no, because you're a man. You have to change your own oh, tire. I was just saying. Some yeah. some women don't know how to do that. So, but they don't call. Jack Bobby. it up. They, you they take the lug nuts out. They don't out. call Bobby. They call someone else to come fix that tire, and then they go to Bobby's house, and then Bobby blows their flat tire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It, 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 look, it, it, it reminds me of my mama used to tell me about this man named Leroy that she used to fuck. Okay? <laughs> Leroy, Leroy wasn't good for nothing. He, he didn't have good credit. He couldn't fix shit, couldn't do shit, but he could lay that dick. And that's Bobby Flacco. You're Leroy Bob? <laughs> Leroy and Lewis. You Leroy know what I mean? Jenkins. Barbecue. Go get you some over there at Cosmic Coffee. No, no, no. Good times. No. It may be, yeah, Bobby, good for you, dude. We're having fun. Good yeah. for you, man. Yeah. Fuck you. Well, where can uh, where can the people find y'all at? What uh, what's the name of the podcast? Where can they see? It? Where where can they just come up at a random gym and catch a lift with y'all? I mean, uh, someone would love to catch a lift with y'all. Where where do y'all work out at? What gym are y'all currently at in Austin? Yeah, I mean, we should promote them. Game yeah, Day we're at, we're at Game Day Barbell. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool it's place great. here in Austin. If you're a powerlifter, weightlifter, bodybuilder, bodybuilder, body yeah. Quick, Larry Faust, call me, dude. We know you're here. You're you're about to come on. We know you're here. Yeah, we 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 know you're here, dude. I mean, we're we're wrapping it hey, up. Hey, be a little patient, hey, Larry. We have some chicken nuggets for you, Larry. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Larry. Larry, get in here and and get some of these nugs down. Larry, we're gonna give you one of these hot nugs. But yeah, give it. Get. We're wrapping it up right now. Hide the sauces. Hide All right. the sauces. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. so, yeah. so, so game, game day like game day barbell and then my YouTube channel Zach Tellender. That's where our Lyft Companion episodes are. But this dude's got a huge Instagram that's popping off. Dozer.wl. Dozer. Where's Dozer? Dozer? Like bulldozer? Dill Dozer. Dozer. So, yeah, the story of how I got called that. <laughs> I got the this gym called Cal Strength. Their best lifter there started calling me Dill Dozer. Because I was like a big dude when I got there. I was like 245 pounds. Fucking shit. Also. So he was like, he just started calling me Dill Dozer. And then that just morphed into Dozer. Yeah. And now that's the name of my business. That's it. pretty cool. Yep, and then Coach underscore that is cool. ZT, ah, ZT. Instagram, that's it. Yeah, well, boys, I appreciate y'all coming out. Feel like it was a good podcast. We're never doing that again. Next yeah. time we all hang out. I gotta, we got to do it this weekend with this fucking badass powerlifter dude. He's smoking cigarettes on his thing? Instagram, by the way. Are y'all, oh, that's no, that's bad. it. Yeah, he's, he's, this, he's like it. one of the strongest dudes in America, and then he'll smoke cigs, and it's like fucking cool as hell. Babe Ruth did that, too. You see, eat 17 hot dogs before you hit home runs, yeah. too. Animal. So, I mean... Animal. Animal. Yep. Uh, well, listen, guys. Uh, I appreciate y'all coming out. Thanks Have for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Fun. Fun. A little good time. Uh, yeah. Where can they find your merch at? Is uh, your little Japanese Bar- merch? Barbellapparel.com. Okay. Um, that's where you can get the Lift Companion shirts. Dylan's also got shirts. They um, are sold out. Oh, sold okay. Out. Hey. So yeah, barbellapparel.com slash calendar. I love. I plug that shit. Good yeah. Problem to have. Well, we're going. We're going. We're going to shuffle them on out of here. We got a special treat coming uh, in for the last fifteen. We're going to give him a little fifteen-minute segment. Uh, Larry Faust and the street interviews of the Ted Nugent rally. Y'all stick on by. We'll be back in a hot one. <laughs>
Now, here comes a segment here. We're going to be doing this uh, going off in every month. Uh, well, listen, we had a guy we used to record with. He was a real piece of work, a real piece <laughs> of shit. And uh, we had to cut ties, but he's still a good friend of mine. He still does great. Will you shut up? He's like a balking chicken. Uh, and uh, uh, we out of the room. Oh, my God, dude. See what I got to deal with? The janitor's son over here. I mean, my God. But listen, he's doing. He's actually doing real journalism now. He's doing the hard-hitting shit that nobody wants to do. He's getting the dirt work, but he's getting to the bottom of It's the slime in the ice machine, Mr. fucking Gary Faust. How have you fucking been, my guy? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I, uh, <clears throat> I got black lung. From, like, coal mining? <laughs> yeah. Or just sniffing no, strippers' no. assholes. <laughs> No, I'm off the I'm off the stripper ass. I uh, there's some there was fungi in my. Oh, wait, you're off, you're off the stripper ass. How you getting laid? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I. You got black mold in your house? Is what you're telling I'm me? I'm fucking in my lungs now, dude. So it's that's why I've been coughing so much. If you haven't noticed, is that why your haircut's that <laughs> shitty? I got this from a gas station barber. Oh yeah, little Asian lady. No, Shout out, little Asian. No, no, you look good. You look good. Got a nice suit on. The only uh, people that can cut my hair are Mexicans. Nice. Yeah, no, I don't know. People. I don't yeah. know why. No, yeah, yeah, no, I love it. Uh, got a nice suit on. You have, been like doing? Little, you have a little peanut head. <laughs> so they just not just operate. clip back to him real quick. Just look at this. Look at what we're looking at. This is what I. This is what I got to work with, right there. The one and only. <laughs> what? Dude? I mean, dude. You're out of control, dude. <laughs> what are you? Do you guys get that ketamine sponsor? About? Did we get what? You guys got that ketamine sponsor? We received? did not, dude, because he was a ha- he was a liability. Is that why he still doesn't have a car? <laughs> <He's just> yeah. <laughs> oh wow! See, he's even shitting on you. And your lips yeah. are chapped. It's fine because I've just been here all dried up like a sardine in this room with <laughs> you and your cool fucking power lifting friends. Oh yeah, we lift weights. I'm fucking good with Sir Dominance. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Dominance. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, Bobby. Hottest chicken wing sauce. <laughs> 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 La- ladies like and gentlemen, I'm going to be honest with you. Bobby smoked some of that elixir, uh, the, 90, <laughs> the 90 proof, the THCP 90 proof, and it has put him in a bind. He literally goes, I'm, 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 I don't know where I'm at right now. And he can't drive home because he what? Doesn't have a car. Uh, That's stupid right now, dude. For you to say. <laughs> dude, what? I have what? no ways around. You, what, you, you're taking the bus? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Let's Dude, get to the what? What the fuck happened to this podcast? This is my last fucking episode. No. <laughs> yeah. Why? Oh, God. No. No, that's it. No. All right. We need you. <laughs> so, uh, all right. This is probably your last episode. Okay, probably I swear sm- to God, you want me to? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the boys are back in town. Uh, thanks for joining us. The boys uh, are back in town. Gary right. Faust has been doing a lot of uh, journalism work out there. <laughs> We got the uh, rainy street. Thanks for leaving street. me out to try there, dude. What the fuck? Well, I mean, we got the, rain, the, the rainy street bad. wrangler that he's oh, been doing. <laughs> yeah, we're off the rails here. <laughs> what? We got a segment to do, Bobby. You miss frizzle looking motherfucker. But we got the rainy street wrangler. <laughs> All right. We're going to get an update on that. Uh, <laughs> Gary also has been going around at the Ted Nugent rally. Yeah. And he interviewed... <laughs> Interviewed a homeless guy, and the cops got on Gary, and Gary doesn't have a good thing with authority or women, and this was a lady cop, so he's in a bind just in general. <laughs> we'll scan it a little bit so everybody can see, but Gary, take us through your process. What I mean, <coughs> what are you doing? Uh, you, home, you interviewed a Confederate uh, televangelist? Is that what, was that what it was? <laughs> We're going to clip this, by the way. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about, the reference, but, and then some homeless guy was just taking a nap. You woke some guy up from a nap. Just let's go into it. Gary. How you been? What's okay, going well, on? Well, like I said, dude, I got black lung, so that's not good. And no I got, one cares about that. Tell us the news. 